time again You have proven You do just what you say Good morning Good morning Happy Saturday This is Pastor Tanya I'm looking forward to she There it is Good morning. Welcome this morning to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. I am so excited to be here with you this morning. My name is Pastor Tanya, and I will be facilitating our prayer this morning. I am so, so glad you are here with me this morning. It is so good to see you. Today is Saturday, January 2nd. We have moved into 2021, and I am excited about it, so I pray that you are. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Make sure that as you are joining, that you are saying hello to someone else that is on the wall with you. Make sure that you like, comment, and share because we want to talk. We want you to invite someone to join us in prayer this morning. Prayer is the foundation of who we are here at Amazing Church. And we know that every, everything um, we can find in the Word of God and we can find through prayer. So, prayer... We have been here, we have been here since the beginning of this pandemic, and we are going to be here until, that's why we call it every day until, until when? Until God tells us to do something different. So we are going to stay on this wall and we are going to be faithful. I want to thank you this morning for your faithfulness. I want to thank you for being here. Make sure that if you have a prayer request, um, put it on the wall. Uh, someone will pray with you. I promise you, someone will pray with you and pray for you, stand in agreement with you if you have a prayer request. If you feel that your prayer request is too sensitive to be in a public forum, please don't hesitate to, if you are on Facebook, there is a link that you can click on. There's a form you can complete with your prayer request and um, come on back and then someone will contact you. If you are on Instagram or you my, my callers, um, you can send an email to admin at amazingchurch.com. That is admin at amazingchurch.com. So um, let us know what your prayer requests are, but not just your prayer requests. Let us know what your praise reports are because we know we've been praying and we know that God is answering. We believe that he is answering our prayers. We know that he hears us and if he hears us, he answers. So let us know how he has answered your prayer since we've been in this time of um, prayer. I want to remind you, I want to first say thank you if you are hosting a watch party. I want to say thank you to you for hosting the watch party. And if you are participating in this um, time with us through a watch party, make sure you thank your host. And um, because they wanted to share this time with you, they wanted to connect with you in prayer this morning. So make sure that you are putting your city, your state, your country on the wall. Let us know where you're joining from. We have ambassadors. Um, we are going to have another ambassador training. So listen out for more about that. But I thank you to all of our ambassadors who are praying, who are covering the cities and states that you are in. It is important for us to be um, united in what we are doing and how the ways in which we are praying. So thank you ambassadors for um, taking on the, um, the prayers for your city and for your state. We appreciate it. We thank you for being here this morning. You Are you all ready to get started? This song is Promises, Promises by Maverick City. And it'll make sense as we go through um, the word that God has given this morning. I am, I am grateful 
for this time to be with you this morning. Are you all excited? It's Saturday morning. I think the sun is trying to come out here. It hadn't been out. Um, I'm, I'm blessed to be here with you this morning. I am grateful for you this morning. Are you all ready to get started? I am ready. What well, every day, every day before I get started, I want to just remind you that every day we give you an inspiration. An inspiration is um, something that is coming out of the Word of God. It is scripture um, because all scripture is inspired by God. And then we give you a motivation. We break that scripture down and, and help you understand how we can um, utilize it today in, in, in today's context. Because the Word of God is living. The Word of God is powerful. The Word of God is, it, while it never changes, what, it, what um, God speaks to us through His Word is for us. And so we want to, we, the motivation is to help you to understand how that word or that inspiration that you get is for us today. And then you get an application. The application is for you to do, for me to do, because we know that we are not just hearers of the word. We are also doers of the word. Um, we don't just, we don't, when we do the word, we um, when we do the word, we can make our life better every single day. We just just hearing the word doesn't doesn't do what what doing the word does. So we have an we have an application that we need to go and do. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let me turn this down just a little bit. But I'm loving this song. That, that, like I've been listening to it for two weeks, I think. Because um, great is his faithfulness. Anyway, so your word, your inspiration this morning is coming from Lamentations. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I, who, who reads Lamentations? Well, I, I'd recommend at least this part that you read. It's coming from Lamentations chapter 3, verses well, I'm going to focus on one verse, which is verse 23, but I'm going to read to you verses 21 through 23 so you get the fullness of what I'm saying. And I am reading to you from the um, English Standard Version this morning. Good morning, Mama Katie. Um, I'm reading to you from the English Standard Version this morning. That's Lamentations chapter 3. Verses, I'm going to read verses 21 through 23, but I'm going to focus on verse 23. And it says, but this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast, verse 22, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Or because of the steadfast love of God, we are not cast off. We are not uh, disposed of. We are not let go. His mercies never come to an end. Or the King James Version says, I believe, says his mercies endureth forever. They will never fail. Verse 23, which is what I want to focus on. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. <laughs> they are new. What is it? They are new. His mercies are new. The mercies that never fail, the mercies that never come to an end, those are new every single morning. So when you woke up this morning, you had new mercies. You had new mercies, mercies that never fail, mercies that go on and on and on and on and on, mercies that don't quit on you, mercies that don't falter, mercies that don't, um, that don't do what they're intended to do mercies that never fail but the part that i really want to focus you on is the last part of this verse and it says great is your faithfulness here's what i need you to understand lamentations was written by jeremiah and um there's five chapters in lamentations and the entire book is of lamentations is Jeremiah lamenting and lamenting means to have a he's having a passion ex expression of his grief or sorrow chapter one 
he's talking about all that happened and, and the destruction of Jerusalem and all the horrible things that have happened. Same in chapter two. And, and you know, we've been, we, we, we've done these things, God. And, and, um, and, and he's lamenting because he's sorrowful. He's, he's full of grief. He's witnessed the fall of, of the destruction of Jerusalem and he's, he's anguished. And he's talking chapter after chapter, even at the beginning of chapter three, the first 20 verses are him lamenting. And he says things like, I, I, I'm a man that has seen affliction, the rod of his wrath. He's led me and brought me into darkness, but not into light. He's talking about all of the destruction that he is seeing around him. And he's lamenting and lamenting. And he keeps going on. There's five chapters of Jeremiah lamenting about all of the destruction, all of the things that are going on, all of the things that he's dealing with, all of the things that his people are dealing with, you know, kind of like us right now. Kind of like the way we have been lamenting about the world around us. And God, I don't understand this pandemic. God, I don't understand why my job is the way it is. I don't understand why my marriage is the way it is. I don't understand why I'm still single. I don't understand why my children are behaving the way they're behaving. I don't understand why I have to be locked up. I don't understand why I have to wear a mask. I don't understand why people are dying around me. I don't understand, God. We've been lamenting. But the beautiful thing, the beautiful thing, the thing that I want you to see is right in the middle of his lamenting. He says, but I call this to mind and therefore I have hope. Right in the middle of everything that's going on, right in the middle of the destruction, right in the middle of the despair, right in the middle of the anguish, right in the middle of the things that actually did happen. They happened. They are going on around him, but right in the middle of it all. Chapter three, verses 21 through 23, he says, but I called this to mind, which means I remembered. I remembered. And because I remembered, I have hope. I remember two things, I remember, which are really the same thing. I remember the steadfast love of the Lord that it never ceases. I remember that his mercies are new every morning. His mercies never fail. But the biggest thing that I remember is, and which sums all of that up, it's, it, 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 it's great, is his faithfulness. Faithfulness is steadfastness. Faithfulness is firmness. Faithfulness is fidelity. Faithfulness is stability. Faithfulness is steadiness. Fa steadfast means resolute or firm or unwavering or immovable. It's not subject to change. That's what God's faithfulness is right in the middle of it all. He remembered that great is God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness is never going to, in other words, God is never changing. God is, is um, not unwavering in what he's saying, what he's doing, in his promises. He's resolute. His, what I, here's, as I was studying or as I was really reading, um, what I noticed was every time you see the faithfulness of God, you see this term, his steadfast love. Proverbs 57.10 says, your steadfast love is great to the heavens. Your faithfulness is, it reaches, the, it, it, it's in the clouds. Uh, Proverbs 89.49 says, by your faithfulness, you swore to David. Because of your steadfast love, it is by your faithfulness that you've made promises to us. Proverbs 26.3 says, your steadfast love is before my eyes. And because of it, I walk in your faithfulness every time we see God's faithfulness, we see his steadfast love. They are one and the same. You cannot have one without the other. That's why Jeremiah said the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. It's because of his steadfast love, his unwavering, his immovable, his resolute, his firm, his love that is not subject to change, that, we, that his faithfulness exists because it is who he is, the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God. That is what I want you to see today is the faithfulness of God. Jeremiah lamented, as I said, about real things. 
He was talking to the Lord about all that was going on around him. And I, I can imagine the Lord is sitting there just listening to him while he's sitting right next to him, while he's in his presence. And then Jeremiah realized, I am in the presence of God. I am in the presence of the mighty king. I am in the presence of a holy a holy God who has made promises. And, and even though I might be dealing with these things, I am still in the presence of God because God is faithful. God's steadfast love will never fail. God is always here. God, I am able to be in his presence even in the midst of what I might be going through. The I, I'm bringing this up and I know people think that, okay, 2020 is over. Everything is good. We're still dealing with things and you're still going to deal with things. And I never want you to forget the faithfulness of God. When you're in the midst of something, whether that something is something that is displeasing to you, or even if that something is wonderful, never forget the faithfulness of God. In your worst of worst times, you can remember his faithfulness and keep going. In the best of times, you can remember his faithfulness and keep going. It is his faithfulness that takes us through. So your motivation this morning is you've been through some real stuff. But God's steadfast love, his resolute, his firm, his unwavering, his immovable his, his love that is not subject to change is still there. His faithfulness is great. His faithfulness is what has gotten you to this day. You remember back in March and everything started changing and the world around you started going crazy and you started dealing with all kinds of stuff. You're here today, January 2nd. It is his faithfulness that got you through everything you've been through. And it is, it is his faithfulness that will keep you moving forward. His faithfulness always has been and his faithfulness always will be. It will never end. You can rely on it. You can count on it. You can rest in it. You can, you can if, if you don't know anything else, I don't know about Jeremiah, but I know there were times when I didn't know which way I was going. And it's his faithfulness, his steadfast love that kept me in my right mind. It was his faithfulness and his steadfast love that kept me moving forward. It was in his faith. And when I didn't do everything right, his mercies are new every morning. And it is because of his steadfast love and his faithfulness that kept us so your application today your application today is make the faithfulness of god the foundation okay i got y'all back sorry facebook um i was saying your hope shouldn't be your found the foundation of your hope should not be in a calendar turning the foundation of your hope is in the faithfulness of god it's in his steadfast love because that is the only thing that will remain true. The calendar will turn again. A days will move by and we'll go, we'll experience a new day every day. But with each new day, his mercies are new. But his faithfulness, his faithfulness never changes. It is great. Are you all ready to pray this morning today? Make the faithfulness of God the foundation of your hope. Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for your faithfulness. God, we lift you up this morning. You are a holy and magnificent God. You, your faithfulness is to the clouds. It reaches beyond the clouds. It is because of your steadfast love that you make your faithful, your faithful and your faithfulness that your promises are made to us, God. And we know that whatever we endure this, this year, 
the day, whenever, whatever we might have to endure or whatever we get to experience, we know it is because of your faithfulness. We lift you up this morning because you are a magnificent God. You are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords. You are great and mighty. You sit high and you look low, oh God. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your magnificent presence. We know that the world is in your hands. We know that you are God all by yourself. We know that you control everything. You control what happened in the past and you are controlling our future. God, we lift you up this morning because you are magnificent. You are all powerful. You are all powerful. You see everything. You know everything. You are everywhere. We thank you, God, for being our God. We thank you for being our Father. We thank you for being our King. We thank you for being our friend. We thank you for being the lover of our souls. We thank you, God, because you are faithful. You are magnificent and you are glorious. You are holy, oh God. We thank you for your goodness towards us. We thank you for your mercies being new every single morning. We thank you, God, for being our God. We glorify you this morning, God, and we thank you, Lord, that you forgive us when we fall short of the expectations that you have for us. We, we thank you when we are disobedient to the things that you ask us to do. We thank you for your forgiveness when we are when we just don't get it right, Lord, we magnify your name this morning. We honor you for covering us. We honor you for your blood that washes us white as snow. We thank you, God, that not only do you forgive us, you cleanse us and you call us your righteousness. And we, uh, we, we thank you, God, that we can be righteous in you and that we don't have to rely on ourselves and our own works and our own abilities. We can rely on your faithfulness and your goodness and your mercy, God. And so we rely on it this morning. We confess every sin before you and we thank you that all we have to do is confess. We don't have to jump through hoops because that's not the kind of God that you are. We don't have to do a bunch of different stuff. All we have to do is confess and believe Believe by faith that you have forgiven us and that you have cleansed us and that we are your righteousness and then move forward in your righteousness. So we thank you this morning for being our king. We thank you this morning for being our provider. We thank you this morning for being our deliverer. We thank you this morning for being our way, our truth, and our life. We thank you this morning, God, that there is nothing that we can do outside of you or there is nothing that we need to do outside of you because in you we have everything that we need. We have every an ounce of information. We thank you for being our wisdom. We thank you for being our direction. We thank you for being our guide. We thank you for being our safe tower. We thank you for being our Lord. We thank you for being our hope. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you for being our peace. We thank you, God, for being our righteousness. We thank you, God, for being the victory that we have in you. We thank you that your promises are true and that you don't withhold any good thing from us, God. We thank you, God, for who you are. We thank you, God, for moving us through time. We thank you for reminding us that you are faithful, that great is your faithfulness, that it, it, it overflows. It's more than we could expect. It's more that we, than we can understand. Great is your faithfulness and your steadfast love, God. We thank you for it this morning. Now, Lord, we know that um, we have a blood-bought right as your children to answer prayer, and your word says that we can come boldly before your throne of grace to find help in a time of need. And we know that your word is our guarantee that by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we can bring our requests to you and we can make them known to you. We know that you hear us. 
and if you hear us, we know that you will answer us. We thank you, God, that your eyes are on us. We thank you, God, that your ears are open to our prayers. So this morning, Lord, we lift up every person in this tribe. We lift up every situation or circumstance that they may be dealing with. We lift them up, oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness in their lives. We thank you for your faithfulness in their families' lives. We thank you for your faithfulness, God, because you are good. We thank you that every prayer request is answered according to your word, according to your will, and according to your way. We thank you, God, that because of their faith, that based on their faith, we thank you, God, for increasing their faith where it's necessary. That's how faithful you are. You give us everything that we need. You provide for us. You do for us. You, you make ways for us when we don't know the ways. God, we thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you for hearing us this morning. We thank you that even when we lament, your ears are open to us because you care for us. Your word says that we can cast every single care on you because you care for us. So God, we thank you for allowing us to lament, but we thank you, God, for your faithfulness, even in our lamenting. We thank you for your faithfulness when um, we're not in times of lamenting. We thank you for your faithfulness when we're in the wonderful times. We thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. We thank you, God, for hearing the prayers and the voice of your people. And because you hear us, you will answer. So we lift up this morning every person who is battling this coronavirus. We lift up every person who is battling any sickness or disease. We thank you for your faithfulness to them. We thank you for the faithfulness of your word of healing. We thank you that healing is the children's bread and your word says that you, um, every manner of sickness and disease, you heal them all. God, we thank you for the faithfulness of your word that even the truth of your word then is the truth of your word now. We thank you that you can, we can send your word and they are healed. The angels hearken to the voice of your word. We thank you, oh God, for healing this morning. We thank you that there is nothing that can overcome the blood. We thank you, Lord, for the work of your mighty hands in the lives of your people, Father. We thank you for every single family that is represented on this call, that is um, represented in this tribe. We thank you for covering and protecting them. We thank you for keeping them. We thank you for opening doors of opportunity for them. We thank you for their minds being healthy and their hearts being strong and focused and stayed on you. We thank you, God, for your promises being true. We thank you that there is nothing, there is no good thing that you withhold for. We thank you that you're in faith in Jesus Christ. Your promises are yes and amen. So God, we thank you for your faithfulness this morning. We glorify you this morning. Now, Father, I lift up my pastors before you this morning. I thank you that you have given them wisdom. Your word tells us to pray for our leaders. And so I pray for um, a, a spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge of you. I thank you, God, that they are fulfilling your perfect purpose and plan for their lives. I thank you, Father, that they hear your voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the a spirit of wisdom, of knowledge, of counsel, of might, and of understanding will guide them in everything that they do. I thank you for their health. I thank you that there is no weapon formed against them that will prosper. I thank you that they and their family are protected from all hurt, harm, danger, or accident. I declare that they are the redeemed of the Lord and because they are in covenant with you, sickness and disease, poverty and lack, fear and oppression have no power over them or their family. I thank you, God, that they walk in divine health and are physically fit. I thank you that they prosper even as their soul prosper, that they are in health even as their soul prospers. I thank you, God, for my pastors. I thank you. I lift them up before you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for every person that participates, that has been faithful 
on this wall. I thank you that they continue to be faithful. I thank you that they get everything that they need from me. I thank you for the overflow of praise reports that are coming forth. I thank you, God, for all that you are doing in our lives. I thank you for where you are taking us. I thank you for the things that you are showing us. I thank you for our ears being open to hear you. I thank you, God, and I give you glory for it this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. We'll bless you this morning. It is such an honor to pray with you. It is such an honor to be with you this morning. Thank you. Go forth today and make the faithfulness of God the foundation of your hope. Callers, thank you for being here. Um, we are here every morning at 8 a.m. Central Time. We are going to be here every morning as long as God says the same. Oh, and I don't want to forget to remind you that um, Amazing Church is starting our 21-day fast on, the, on Monday. Um, the first week, we are focused on our physical man or on our body. If you would like to join us, go to our website and you can find out information. You can see it on our Facebook page. You can see it on our Instagram. There's information on what we're doing. But join us in our fast. And even if you don't um, fast the way we fast, spend, take, take some time to, to um, give these first few, first whatever period of time that you decide to the Lord. Because when you when the first fruit is holy, the whole lump is holy. So that not re only refers to the things things that we have; it refers to our time as well. So um, join us in the fast, callers. Thank you. Be blessed and have a beautiful day. Instagram. Thank you for being here this morning. God's faithfulness is great. Make His faithfulness the foundation of your hope today. Be blessed, be amazing, and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Facebook, I hope I hope this all recorded. I don't know if you came back. I'm believing that you did, but I'm not really sure. Um, be blessed today. The, make sure that you make the faithfulness of God the foundation of your hope. I love you all. Have a great, great Saturday. Bye-bye.